This is a multi-resource example of how you decide how to get your coffee in the morning. Now that we've explored the concept of multi-resource decision making, let's take a field trip today and let's find the true cost of how a lot of people do something every day, get their coffee. As with any example, there are tons of variables. I'm just gonna to try to establish what I consider typical parameters as we go through this example. For option one, let's say this is the type of person that gets ready at home and stops to get their coffee on the way to work. There are three locations within a stone's throw of the house of a major chain. So I'm gonna pick the closest one and I'm gonna do this at 7 a.m., which I feel is typical for a pre-work morning run. I did take the dog with me, but that added very minimal time, and a lot of people may be taking dogs or kids with them to drop off on the way to work as well. The drive over was on a Monday morning at 7 a.m. It didn't take long because I'm so close to it, and the drive through actually wasn't too backed up. I was a little bit surprised with that. Whoever was taking the order was surprisingly jovial and chipper for 7 a.m. I was impressed with that. Since I don't drink caffeine, all I wanted was a decaf coffee with cream for comparison to what I would have at home. And he specified something about that only being an Americano. I had no idea what he meant, so I rolled with it. Uh, half a shot of uh, whipped cream for the dog, please. Yeah, you got As that. a perk, they do offer free little cups of whipped cream for the dog, so Baron was happy with his treat right, for the ride. I got you all set. Great, thank you. The girl at the window was again very friendly, looked wide awake and put together, not like she just rolled out of bed, big smile. The cost was $4.33 plus tax, and I picked the tip option in the middle, which was $2, brings the cost of the cup of coffee to $6.33. Having left the house at exactly 7 o'clock a.m. and leaving the drive through at 7.09 a.m., that means it took nine minutes extra of my time as opposed to had I left the house and driven straight to work. 7.09 is the time right now. The mileage driven in this case was 1.7 miles and the IRS allows us a cost of 65.5 cents per mile, which is what they deem an appropriate cost per mile of us driving our personal vehicles. Each of us have our own hourly rate, but for the purpose of this example, let's use $30 an hour for our dollars per hour that we make at our job. That allows us to convert the time required into dollars, and we have the 65.5 cents per mile that we can convert the mileage into dollars as well. And that gives us our standard metric of dollars when we make our comparison. We'll also assume that we get coffee five times a week, which is once for each business day of the week, Monday through Friday. And if we think about it over the cost of a year, that brings our total cost for option one to $3,105.31. Now let's create option two. And in option two's case, with these days, a lot of us working remotely from home, let's use the example that we would leave our house, drive to go get coffee, and then come back to our house to begin work that day. Even though the coffee costs the same, we have a little bit of change in the time and in the mileage. So in this case, we get done with the drive-through and we drive back home and we get back home at 7.15. Walking in the door at 7.15. The mileage is now the 1.7 to get from home to the end of the drive-through. And by the time we're back home, that turns into 4.2 miles. We use all the same parameters we did in option one. We let Excel do the math and it makes this option $4,311.06. In comparison, what if we just make coffee at home? First of all, there's gonna be the time to make the coffee. So I did a little time study there. Starting stopwatch now. I'm gonna stop it because I don't need to be here right now. Now I came back, I'm going to resume. Off. Stop. Just under a minute. I even added a minute to rinse out the cup later. There's the cost of the coffee and the cost of the cream. And I got those by just looking at the price of the larger container and the amount of servings in each. You'll need your own coffee machine. 
So I just sort of picked one off the shelf and assumed that maybe I have to buy one of these every year because they wear out or break. Now we let Excel do all the math here and we get a total cost for the year of $526.36. That is significantly less than either of the other two options. Everyone is gonna have their own unique circumstances, scenario, different numbers, different variables. This multi-resource example only considers two resources, time and money. What if you consider health as part of it? And this is a bit cosmetic perhaps, but let's say that if you get your coffee on the way to work, the coffee stains your teeth, and so once every six months or year, you end up getting a teeth whitening kit. As opposed to if you drink your coffee at home while you're making breakfast or doing your stuff around the house, and you brush your teeth before you leave home, that may allow you to maintain better teeth and save your whitening kits. While we're on the topic of health, the next question you may ask yourself in looking at this is, do I really need to be drinking coffee every day? Maybe the caffeine isn't as big of a deal for most of you, it's only a concern for me because of my heart, but that doesn't mean that it wouldn't be healthier to have a glass of orange juice or V8 or make a healthy breakfast as opposed to that cup of coffee. There may be other thoughts that are coming to your mind like every day you go through the drive-thru you're generating more trash. Is that as good for the environment as if you just take a cup from home and rinse that out? Whatever your case, it's probably not going to be terribly far from this example I used which literally saves thousands of dollars a year. And this is just on one habit we're talking about here. It may even be more extreme for your case. You may go seven days a week instead of just five. Or you may go five days a week in the morning, but you also may stop for a coffee after lunch on the way back to work, and that's another five every week. The more you add, the more extreme the difference is. Seeing the numbers put this black and white in front of us begs the question, why would anybody spend that extra money to go to the drive through as opposed to just making it at home. It takes more time, it takes more money, it's the drive through I can sort of understand the difference if you are going inside because you work remote and you just want to get out of the house and around other people. That all kind of makes sense. But in this case, there's just no objective reason to why you would do this. So why would anybody who understands the cost of this make the decision to do this. That brings up the emotional component of decisions. And that's what we're gonna discuss in the next video. First I'll try this one. To me it tastes burnt. Taste of old San Antonio, is that flavor? To me I like this better. If you haven't done so, please click the link below to subscribe to the channel, click the little bell for notifications, check out the YCC merch store to see if there's anything you like, and let's use casual sense.